Hi friends, welcome back. So let me begin my this video with my Arne Shapir. The stay home and be safe. So today we are going to see a poem which is based on a very important topic, and that topic is trees. Trees are really a wonderful creation of nature. It is important for the survival of world. Trees not only are color to the landscape but make survival possible for us and many other creatures. Today we see that trees are slowly disappearing from cities, villages, and jungles, and it is leading to a global warming, and it creates threat to us. So it is important to preserve our forest and valuable trees. We must plant trees, and we must protect our trees. So friends, today we are going to see a poem which is based on the same topic, trees. The poem's name is "Trees Are the Kindest Things I Know." This poem is written by a famous American poet and screenwriter Harry Ben. So let us watch this poem. Let us enjoy this poem with help of few colorful images and animation. Harry Ben was American poet. He was screenwriter and children's author. Trees are the kindest things I know. They do not harm. They simply grow and spread a shade for sleepy cows and gather buds among their pods. They give us food and leaves above and food to make our houses of and leaves to burn on Halloween and in the spring new buds of green. They are the first when days begun to touch the beams of morning sun. They are the last to hold the light when evening changes into night. And when a moon floats on the sky, they hum a drowsy lullaby. Of sleepy children long ago, trees are the kindest things I know. Trees are the kindest things I know. In the first stanza, poet talks about kindness of trees towards animals. They provide shade to the sleepy cows and provide a place for the birds to gather and build their nest as well among their branches. In the second stanza, the poet talks about the tree's kindness to human beings. They provide us with food, wood for building houses, and leaves full of beauty and joy in springtime. In the third stanza, poet talks about the loftiness of the tree. The tall trees are first one to catch the morning beams of the sun, and they are also the last to hold the light before night falls. In the last stanza, the tree sings a lullaby when the moon is up to put people to sleep. After the day's work, when people are tired and sleepy, the trees, like an old loving grandmother, sings them a lullaby. This lullaby is the rustling of leaves in a gentle breeze 